Hello again, welcome back. Another one from Innocent Gun in Edinburgh in Scotland. And this is a special one. It's a set of three. I think they're limited edition. Yeah, they are. It's a Scottish red beer matured in Laphroaig whiskey casks. Laphroaig is a famous distillery in Isla. Just off the west coast of Scotland. So this, I'm really looking forward to this. A special, special treat. So let's go have a look at the bottle. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, Innocent Gun presents Isla Whiskey Cask. Matured in Laphroaig Quarter Casks. Scottish Red Beer. It's 330ml bottle. 7.4% ABV, limited edition. This beer has been slowly matured in a rare cache of quarter cask from Laphroaig, an iconic Isla single malt whisky, absorbing all the rich flavours from these very special casks. Spicy wood smoke and peat, sea salt and burnt toffee. This beer adds its own rich roasted flavour to create something as unforgettable and uncompromising as the island and whisky which inspired it. It's got a lot to live up to, hasn't it? So I've not got I have got an innocent gun glass, but it's a big pint lager glass. I'm just using a wee What do you call these type of glasses? I'll put that in. I can never remember. This is from another local brewery, Belfield. Love them. Let's crack it up. Plain black cream. It's pure beautifully. A pinky of off-white, mousse-like foam. The hard pour at the end is giving it a few fish eyes. Opaque. Old of us. I can see the barest out outline in my hand. Let's see if this shows through. Oh my goodness, yeah. Put up the brightest. How's that for a beautiful, deep, red, reddish, nutty brown? Get a wee swirl on it. I've left a wee bit of room. Getting the whiskey. And the cask, the wood. It's, it's very peaty as well. Look. I'm getting a wee bit of malty sweetness. Toffee, maybe slightly uh, rich dried fruits or something. Oh man, the whiskey, that's really prevalent. Cheers, my dears. Even having the one sip. That's peaty and smoky and woody and earthy, malty and fruity. That's one drink. The smokiness. It's not like. But when I think of smoky beers or smoky foods, I think you like Bavarian. Smoked sausage or smoked cheese, but it's different to that. It's more like a. Uh, have you ever had that Lapsang Souchong tea? The smokiness is similar to that. The 
No, it's, uh, uh, well, I don't know. It's, I've got to say a burnt type of smokiness. When you get in that peatiness, there's a wee bit of tingle, a wee bit of the, those rich, burnt, roasty malts. Not like uh, the beer, not like, in, not like in a stout or a porter. Or a stout, sorry. It's, a, it's got a lot going on. The cask really comes through. I think it must have been matured in the cask for about 20 years. But you all know, the cask matured beers I've ever had, that has bring, brought the most cask with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going for another wee sip. Of course you're tasting the beer as well. The Scottish red beer is absolutely lovely. The, there is that toffiness, maltiness and a wee bit rich fruits, I don't know, fig or plum or prune or red fruits. <laughs> red, it's a red beer. Let's have a look at their website. Okay, so from innocentgun.com, Isla Whiskey Cask. Cask matured using Laphroaig single malt quarter cask. This is a bold and uncompromising beer of quality and complexity. Bold, it is in your face. It's well developed flavours and smells. Laphroaig Isla Whiskey Cast Mature Beard. Beer. Not beard. It's quite a big long uh, bit. The. Well, I read it. Oh, well. Sorry if this makes it a long video. Isla. A rugged wild isle is famed for its dramatic landscape and uncompromising single malt whisky. Where rich peated earth, the sea spray in the air and centuries of craftsmanship all infuse the whisky with distinctive complex flavours. And there are few whiskies more complex and more emphatic than the Laphroaig Isla single malt whisky. I think I might buy a bottle. It's matured for 12 weeks. What's that for? Three months. Yeah. I do what that is. Yeah, during its 12 week maturation, the beer extracted complex flavours from deep within these special casks peat smoke and brine, vanilla and floral notes. These combined with the rich, warming, malty flavours of the beer create an utterly unforgettable taste experience. So, to frame this unique collaboration between two of Scotland's most celebrated producers, we have commissioned renowned Scottish contemporary landscape artist, Ellis O'Connor, to create the painting which adorns our packaging. Well, you know what? I never showed the box. I just took the beer out of the fridge, forgetting it had come in the box. I know. I feel like such an idiot. It's because I am. These are the other two in the gift set. I've put the images into the box. And there's a big spiel on the back as well. Which might be the same as from the website. So, sorry about that. But I'll put the images in anyway. Oh dearie dear, amateur hour. So, the facts. Uh, ABV 7.4%. Gluten, as it's... It's not gluten-free. 
Suitable for vegans. Hops Super Styrian. I can't say I've heard of that. The brewers so know that. Malt. Innocent Gun Ale Malt. Roasted Barley. Chocolate Malt. Tasting Notes. Aroma. A heady and intense nose which at first delivers brine, peat smoke and rich malty notes then opens up with hints of burned pineapple, coconut and floral aromas. I can't say I'm getting it. I did say a wee bit of fruitiness, but... Coconut I struggle to pick up. I can't say I'm getting floral. That's meat though. Finish, warm and intense, but superbly balanced and with an un unexpected freshness. Malted barley, peat smoke and tobacco intertwine and linger on the palate. Taste, rich and luxurious. A deeply smoky, mineral and malty backbone balanced with notes of toffee, coconut and stewed pear. I'm struggling to remember if I've ever had stewed pear. Yes, I like that. I can imagine what it's like, like, <coughs> like caramelised, rich. What is it? Medium intensity and mouthfeel. Yeah. Sold out. <laughs> oh dear. Six pound a bottle. It's not cheap. But if you want quality, you have to pay for it. And it's not your everyday drink, is it? For a special occasion, Christmas, birthday, whatever, this is a fantastic beer to try. I mean, I'm drinking it now because I'm, I'm just for review purposes. But I am going to sit back and enjoy, sip the rest of this. Oh, man. Anyway, this is went on. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. And all the new subscribers are over 400 now. <laughs> I appreciate every view and comment and like. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. so nice. <laughs>